Now that Godot 4 is out for testing, new and interesting videos are showing up all over my timeline, and it's exciting to see what people are doing with the engine. I really feel like Godot is crossing a major threshold, and with the first stable version of Godot 4 being released soon, it could usher in a new era in open source game development. Here are some of the channels sharing their knowledge so that you can catch the Godot wave. Game Dev Journey. If shaders are your thing and you want another one to add to your arsenal, then Clintock X has a fantastic tutorial teaching how to create a comic style shader in Godot 3.5. Looking at the other videos on their channel, this is a great resource for 3D art, animation and shader enthusiasts working with Blender and Godot. If that is your thing, then subscribe to Clintock X for more. I spend most of my time on YouTube, so I hadn't come across the Godot Twitch streamer Jackie Strims. I happened to stumble upon a highlight reel of sorts from one of her streams, and I'm glad that I did because it was pure entertainment. Her bio says that she likes to laugh and do cool programming things, and if you're into any of that then please stick around. Well, I would also encourage you to do so, and Jackie, upload more of your stuff to YouTube. If you like particle effects as much as I do, and you want to learn how to effectively simulate a powder-like material, then Travis Compton has just the video for you. However, looking at his channel, he's got a fair few other Godot tutorials too. Travis may be a new Godot tutorial maker on the rise, so be sure to support him with some advice for growth and improvement in the comments. One often overlooked feature of Godot is its flexibility, like the way that it offers you the ability to override the default user interface theming. You can customize it to your own style. It's not an entirely straightforward process, but Aurea Funsoft makes it look easy in his latest tutorial as he takes you through the ins and outs of the process. Beyond this, he has videos explaining other cool tricks like a window with a transparent background and devlogs for the Godot games that they are making, so check it out. Mythos Moon has a super quick tutorial demonstrating how to easily push and jump on crates in a 3D FPS game. The tutorial shows a simple yet effective way to prevent the crate from clipping through the level when the player jumps on it or moves it. The video gets straight to the point, and is under a minute with all the explanation of how it's done in the description. Have a look at this if it's useful to you. Finally, Bitbrain has been upgrading his RPG to Godot 4. If you did not know his game Cave, it's an untitled RPG built with Godot Engine, inspired by games like World of Warcraft, Minecraft, Terraria and Stardew Valley. He's building a world within a mountain. Dwarves, goblins, treasures and evil creatures are awaiting you. It's very exciting to see it all coming together, and the cool thing about this video is that it also features Emil, the creator of Dialogic, so make sure to watch. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.